what up you guys i want to update you guys on how careful you have to be right now with these fake ipod touch iphone 3.1 you know the beta jailbreaks i want to let, let you guys know how careful you have to be like in this video first of all the beta the big thing about it was you the startup time and uh, boot down time is dramatically decreased even running jailbroken it is decreased in this video it shows it takes see here it takes well over 20 seconds just for this thing to turn on and that's that's one way you can tell if this is a fake video second of all if you look at the top you know capital first lowercase you know everything you know like like proper but then the build if you see the end is a capital D, well that's wrong. The build number is actually a lowercase d. And if see if I could pull this up very dramatically quick. If I could spell Google. Well. If I can, should I say? iPod 3.1 beta 1 see here see if I can pull it up like the correct website uh, well you could look it up yourself I don't think I'll be able to you know like spend like a half an hour looking for it but what you could truly see is build number is not supposed to be capitalized which if you keep watching he goes to general about see if I can clear it out you can see 3.17C97D. What's wrong with that D? It's capitalized. You do not see capitalized Ds. In it. This is what it's supposed to look like. I used what he used. Firmware changer. You could get it on Cydia if you want to fool people. Which I think that's pretty wrong because you're going to mess up their phones, their iPods. Because, you know, there's probably kids who broke their iPods because of this video, you know. I'm just going to show you really quick. I'll go to my general about. I'll show you what it's supposed to look like. Mine's fake. If you look, um, 3.1 and 7C97 lowercase d, that's what you're supposed to see. You tell this one's fake because of that. And, uh, see if I can, let's check Cydia. It's like, dude, why, and plus you could tell ratings, two star, comments. Not only Pink Snow Team wrote it, but also I did too. Um. He said, you want to know how I know it's fake, because if you check the firmware, the code after 3.1 is the build number. Uh, it's wrong in the brackets. It should be a small d, and not a capital one. Poor attempts using firmware changer, which I also, not only I agreed, but I thought of that watching another video. And then I watched this one, and I saw his comment, and I was like, wow. So, yeah. We're letting everybody know. Do not do it until... Don't even follow this guy. Don't support him. Give him a one star. Poor. Thanks for rating. Um, watch out for IH8SN0W. His videos, I believe all may be fake. I know this one's fake. Don't follow him. No support to this faggot. And, um... I already know, like, three people who's broken their phone trying to do it. And I've almost uh, completely bricked my uh, cute little touch. I tried with my iPhone 3GS, which I'm recording with, but only problem is I've used every single software. I've downloaded software from the Pink Snow guy, which he, you know, it's Pink, it's Pink Snow team, and I've tried, you know, like many things. Nothing's been able to work. I tried downgrading. I fucked up my phone, so I quickly just restored back to 3.1 beta 2, which I run and use, and. Yeah. So just please be aware of these fake videos. The easiest way is the build number, which yeah. And then also, I don't know why he spent this much this much effort in explaining using the TTYS exploit as described in my previous video. It's like what the fuck, dude. You could totally tell us 3.1 with from Mark Changer. Um if I'm able to get rid of this because there's softwares that might be able to do it, I'll give out a serial number.
put on websites, let you tamper with his stuff, mess with his stuff. Oh, capacity 7 gigs. God, he has a small freaking thing. Mine's 8 gigs. How does he have a 7 gig? Weird. Alright, everybody. I hope this helps. Please be careful. And I will be on almost 24-7, pretty much. Almost. When I get my big computer back from Gateway, which they're fixing still. I guess the hard drive was broken from Vista OS X 09 by my trying, my failed attempt to recover, fix it. Yeah. So, again, watch out for this. Please don't make fake videos and everything. Alright, peace out.